Hey guys, Andrew here from the Sad Games. Uh, what did we do today? Did we really do anything? Yeah, I posted some more uh, indie games. I posted, I believe, uh, DLC quests today. And uh, another Sonic Generations video. Uh, I started my... I got into like an RPG phase since I was playing like Dark Souls and Skyrim. So I figured I'd do uh, I'd start up a Fallout New Vegas. I, I played the game before, but I never really got into it just because I liked Fallout Three, but I just didn't like Fallout New Vegas. I guess there's just something about Fallout New Vegas that just didn't tick with, like click with me like Fallout Three did. So I just never got into it. Might be you know I don't know. Maybe it's just the place. Maybe it's just the I just got kind of burnt out on RPG games by the time Fallout New Vegas came out. I don't know. But so I just started up with that. Uh, I'm going okay. I kind of have the same mythology. Like, every time I play an RPG game, like, my entire idea is just to kill everyone. Like, just be the best there is and just kill everybody. So, Fallout, I kind of just killed everybody in the starting town and took all their shit and then went to the next town and sold it. So, I feel kind of an ass, like, for doing that. But, you know, honestly, no one's going to miss them. They were like, they were like, uh, what is it? The in, I think it's like the NBR or something like that. It's trying to buy their town anyway. So, I just saved them the trouble. I just killed all of them and just took their shit and then just fucking left. So now the NBR can come and take their town, or new, or no, uh, NCR, sorry, NCR, New California Republic. Yeah, so I, I helped them, I helped the NCR, they should be happy. I got rid of that town, so now they can freely buy it. I'm a good guy. Uh, let's see, I started going around doing this, like, I, I got this feeling like I needed to finish more achievements, since I haven't, I like, I, I'm kind of an achievement whore, I like to get achievements, but at the same time, I, I get kind of burnt out on games quickly, like, if that makes any sense, like, it's, there are certain types of games that I get burnt out quickly on, like, platform games. Like, I play, like, two or three platform games, and I'll get burnt out quickly. Or if I'm playing one for too long, I'll get burnt out. Same with, it, it works for almost every kind of game. That's why you should like to have a variety and switch it up. So, I went through, and I started going back and playing, like, a lot of my older games to try to get, finish up their achievements on it. One of them is, uh, the Still Alive, Portal Still Alive. I'm surprised, I, I, like, I got the achievements on Portal 1 on Steam, but I never got them for the Xbox, so I feel like an idiot. And I'm missing only, like, three achievements, which is just, like, beat, uh, I have to start the game over, because I have to, I was halfway through the game before it said beat the game, uh, without getting shot, and then I had this perfect setup, and a companion cube fell over, and the turret shot me, I was, like, I think I was, like, 13 levels in, I was, like, ah, fuck, no, 15, I think it's, like, 15 levels in, and I was, like, ah, I'm, like, 10 away from being done, come on, and it, it's since I know the port, like, the puzzles, it's going quickly, but it's just, ah, fuck, <sighs> It's hard. That's a hard achievement. But I'm going to finish up the playthrough I'm doing now because I've been doing the one where it's only go through the orange portals, which is pretty easy. I've just been doing that. And then um, I need to finish all the challenge rooms, which is easy. I think I'm on 10 right now. And no, I'm on 5 right now. And so I need to get the last one, which is 10. My next one, which is 10. And the last one, which is complete all of them. There's only 13 in total. So I, I no, 12 in total. So I should be good. But. Other than that, uh, there isn't really, I was looking through, there's some, I suddenly finished up the old Geometry Wars, I tried that, it's hard as fuck. Have you ever tried playing the old Geometry Wars achievements? They're hard. Like, I think it's like, get to a million without dying? Holy fuck. That's hard. That is a really fucking hard achievement. It's not like the, it's not like two, like Geometry Wars 2, I could do that, no problem. Because I could just keep getting the multiplier and then boom, like a million points in fucking like a minute or so. But god damn, a million points in old Geometry Wars where the multiplier is based on, how long you survive? That's hard. That's a really, really fucking hard game. So, I've been trying that. A lot of other indie games, or uh, not indie, arcade games that have achievements I just haven't beat. I, I like thought about getting some achievements for, like I'm missing, uh, what is it, the um, Mile High Club from Modern Warfare, the original one. And I was thinking, like, maybe I could go back, because I'm, I'm a lot better at Modern Warfare than I used to be. But I'm like, damn... I don't really want to try it so many times just to get that one achievement. But it'd be good to have that 100% completion. I love seeing that. I love when I open my social window and it's like, here, your game's you 100%. And I'm like, oh, look at me, I'm a boss. And then I realize there's only like six. And I'm like, um, I'm a fucking failure. So I'm probably going to go back and try to get more achievements. But uh, other than that, we haven't really done much recording. So I have some Dark Souls to put up. Uh... We need some more. I need to finish uh, editing some more Skyrim. We have more Sonic. And then uh, I think there's like two more episodes of Goldeneye left. One more episode, actually. I think I'm on 29 today. 
one more episode of Golden Eye left, and then I'm done. I promise that game sucked terribly. And then after that, uh, we should be getting a new game in the mail from GameFly very soon, and then we'll start on that as well as what other other games are finishing. So for right now, it should be I think we're working on indie games, Skyrim, and Dark Souls, and because Sonic Generations already done, I just need to upload it. And so yeah, those it's those two games we're doing, and then whatever new game we get. So we'll have three games continually going, and then. Uh, well, the indie games will just come and go whenever we, like, we'll usually, we'll record, like, a lot of them, and then we'll just put one up a day, so that way we have something to put on, aside from just, like, the big titles, and it's also helpful we go through, like, the list of the top indie games and shit, so, uh, other than that, if there's, like I said, if there's any games you guys want to see us do, just leave it in the comments, and I'll fucking work on it, I'll get it, acquire it somehow. But uh, other than that, we've just been waiting for the new the New Year's game season to come out. I'm waiting mostly for Mass Effect 3. I have my pre-order already for the Collector's Edition. I just need to go pick it up when it comes out. Same with Darkness 2. So I'm waiting for those. But other than that, we're just waiting for new games to come out for this year. And then we'll just start on some more Dark Souls and Skyrim and keep posting those up until we're done. All right. Well, like always, subscribe button is going to be right here. Subscribe to the games channel is going to be right here. And then, what up?